I need this coffee this morning, guys. I lost my tripod this morning. I'm using a speaker to put the camera on. Like, how do I lose a tripod? But it's fine. We're not gonna let it crimp our style today. You know, I've decided I was gonna be mad at the weather and the fact that it's gloomy and it's really dark in here. And I had to push the ISO really high right now in order to get a bright image, but it's okay. We're not gonna let it affect us, but I'm just having a little breakfast, my coffee. We're working from home today. I have a bunch of editing that I have to finish for the video this weekend. I have to send it over for approval. So I've got to get that done this morning and a bunch of other like normal day-to-day -day things that I got to do like post on Instagram, post on TikTok, all those social media applications. This is just, you know, a day in the life of living in New York as a content creator. Uh, about 1230 right now and we are going strong okay we got we got several things done off our to-do list our apartment is kind of a mess like we have tripod here we have a bunch of recycling that we got to take care of dishes in the sink and then in my bedroom things that I need to ship out random clothes that I need to put away Yoni left in a hurry because he had to go uh, do a shoot so he left his clothes here we have a bunch of things here like it's just it's just a mess it's that during the work week just can't do it all okay <laughs> on pause right now because we have to start getting ready. We are going to a little gallery opening and I am going with my friend Lauren. So I gotta start getting ready. And um, also the sun is coming out, which is very exciting because that means we can actually enjoy being outside and it's not too gloomy. So let's go. But we are doing a quick little makeup situation because I actually wanted to get ready a little bit earlier than I am now getting ready. So we're gonna do something simple, which is basically what I do all the time. I love that it gets such great lighting in my bathroom. Never have I ever had a window in my bathroom. Doing a little contour, montour to make our face look. <coughs> to make our face look snatchy snap. I'm gonna take this little brush, reddish brownish color. Um, we're just gonna go in somewhere and hope that it looks somewhat nice. Does it look nice? I, I don't know. We're gonna do a little under eye. Okay, now I don't know what I'm gonna wear, so we gotta figure out what to wear, and then figure out what we're gonna do with my hair, because, I mean, I usually never do anything with my hair. An all black outfit? Okay, we've got an outfit, everyone. We're doing an all black outfit with an accent bag. Black loafers, black socks, even though nobody's gonna see the socks, a pair of like dress pants, and then I paired it with this really nice sweater, so comfortable, so warm. I tucked it in and then I put a belt just for a little extra detail. Last step is we gotta do jewelry, and actually this video is in partnership with my favorite brand ever, Majuri. Majuri's having its biggest sale of the year. We're talking about their Black Friday sale. Everything is 20% off with a minimum spend. But because this outfit is really simple, I want to add a lot of jewelry. I got their necklaces that I've talked about so many times. A bunch of my favorite rings that I've been wearing recently. I love this Signe ring. I'm going to add this Pave dome ring. And then I'm gonna add these two right on top of the heirloom ring. I mean, look how beautiful. I've been loving this chain bracelet. It fits perfectly because it kind of dangles a little bit. I'm gonna go in with these beautiful dangly pearly earrings. And then look at that. 
And I would say definitely for this sale, I'm really covered in the gold department. But I want to get a little bit more into silver. So I think I'm going to be adding to my cart a lot of like silver jewelry. But this is what we've got going on. I cannot tell you enough how much I love Majuri's pieces and they're timeless. I wear them all the time. Things sell out really quickly. Hurry up and go click on the link below. And now we are ready to go. This is the outfit. You know, the jewelry just adds so much. Cannot leave without my sunglasses, my wallet, grab my keys, my little lip thing, essential right here for subway rides so nobody starts talking to you. We we're trying to smell nice, so we're gonna go in with this little. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of oil in my hair. I just have a feeling that it's a little humid outside and uh, my hair tends to be very, very frizzy. Okay, now we're actually ready to go. Just meeting in the stairwell, you know how it is. And I get home and she leaves. Yeah. You know, just a working couple. Well, I had a good day. Yeah, how was your shoot? It was amazing. Yeah. They all love the photos. Okay, well, I gotta go. Bye. Just got to Chelsea and I'm walking over to the gallery right now to meet Lauren. I've actually never been to a gallery opening, but I also never invited to anything. Back in Seattle, I never got to meet other creators or anything. So I'm excited to, I don't know, just get to see more like cool stuff in the city. coffee shop to do my work for the day I have to finish up the video I was working on yesterday and then also like a few end of week things like emails so we're headed over to Chelsea I just wanted to like get out of the house because I was also in the house all day in the morning and sometimes it's really easy to like get distracted by just being at home I underestimated how cold it was gonna be, but I've been at a coffee shop pretty much all day just getting work done, finishing up things for the end of the week because today's Friday, and now I'm headed over to the subway to go home. I'm really hungry, also really cold. We actually have to record the podcast, so we're probably gonna do that when we get home and try to bang out like two episodes, releasing episodes, but we haven't filmed our episodes, so we gotta get on that. Now we actually have like video equipment and everything. But damn, is it chilly out here today. <laughs> Dig is like my favorite place to get food honestly like when I'm not trying to like go get like have a meal and go to a restaurant I mean you kind of can like make your own bowl it's so good so much flavor literally just brown rice sweet potatoes very delicious chicken really good broccoli hot honey dressing and the sauce and stuff you can't go wrong 
They've got this mac and cheese. Damn. We just set up the podcast. The new official setup of the What's the Juice podcast. We haven't recorded the podcast on video since we left Seattle several months ago. Yes. So um, we finally figured out the setup. We thought we were going to film with this background, but it just didn't look right. Like there wasn't enough space for both of us to comfortably sit at the table. It, it just didn't look like comfortable. We're actually going to do the couch, the camera, we got the light. We are all set up. We're gonna record. The camera's gonna be right here. This is exclusive point of view. Right. And then we got our sticker right here. Right. If you've never listened to the What's the Juice podcast, you can go find it in the description. It's a good time, it's a fun time. You can subscribe on the YouTube and you can also follow us on Instagram. Okay, now we're actually gonna record. So I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Heading out. I am on my way to meet my friend Carly in the West Village, and today I came prepared and all bundled up as you can see because it's super windy but it's a gorgeous day the sun is out it's nice and early it's like 10 a.m right now it's so so nice out i got this uh little neck thing to keep my neck warm because that's like always where i get cold but now my head is cold i should have worn a beanie hopefully it won't get any colder or windier than it is right now we're actually going to grab a bite at one of her favorite spots i've never been before i don't really hang out in the west village that much so I'm excited to get a little bit more familiar with uh, the neighborhood. And I'm also so excited to see Carly because I haven't seen her since I moved to New York. Like since we got here, I haven't seen her and she's lived in New York for like, I think over a year now. So it's about time. Everything here is like so cute. Kind of want everything. Like, do you see this? So cute. How do we feel about the balaclava? Because I definitely need something to cover my head nice and warm. It's giving grandma, but like, can we make it chic? This is a day well spent in New York City. 13,000, almost 14,000 steps. That's what you wanna do when the weather is nice, okay? Had such a lovely day in New York today. It was it was a dream, it was a movie. And I stopped at the Paloma Wool pop-up that is there until I think like November 23rd or something or 26th. I just ended up getting this balaclava because it's something that I actually really need and I would really use. Like today I could have used this, but I like this style because a lot of them, they're kind of like you slip them on this it's like open so you can just put it on and then you tie it however you want 
and that's what I like about it because that way you can easily take it off but you don't have to like slip it off. I really liked this red color. I feel like it's gonna go really nicely with a lot of things in my closet. And speaking of knitwear, earlier I stopped at a knit store. They didn't have that much of a selection of colors but you guys know I was into knitting last year around this time. So I got these just uh, single needles. And then I got these two yarn colors, a lighter gray, creamy white, and it's like a very fuzzy strand. And I'm going to try and make a scarf with this, stripes between gray and white. I think this is gonna be really nice and wearable and very cute. And now I'm actually gonna finish up a video that is supposed to go live tomorrow. I just have to like add an introduction and then make the thumbnail. And then once that's all set, we're gonna make dinner.